Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and as you can see, I have got another TF2 commentary here for you. Bit of a different gameplay video as I am using fragments instead of one full match. So I hope you guys are okay with that. However, the idea for my loadout should be fairly clear as I am using the Force of Nature Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol and of course the Atomizer. It's a gotta go fast, gotta go high type of idea. And I was surprisingly disappointed considering it wasn't really a surprise that it wasn't going to work if you get what I mean because if you play capture points and you want to do the quadruple jump to get to the end you will get sandwiched between several centuries or just one one century even just a mini century is enough to throw the entire thing off and considering the uh, sudden increase in interests for the engineer class you can understand why it didn't really work out but that is horizontal distance vertical distance is an entire different thing because you can also jump straight up and use the knockback to get into a position where you normally would not have been able to get to. But the entire jumping part of this loadout was not really my focus. The primary focus that I had was of course the force of nature and knocking people back. The pretty boy's pocket pistol as well as the atomizer were just weapons that I was using to complement my force of nature to extend my jumping capabilities even further and not having to worry about taking any falling damage when doing crazy jumps. But knocking back was my primary goal because this weapon is not really made for damage. However, it does more damage in two shots than a stock scattergun does. But of course, if you hit somebody from close range, the, uh, the good amount of distance that is needed to do some decent meat shots, you will knock people back and that goes really fast and by the time you fire your second shot they are already out of distance for a good second meat shot. So the only way to do good damage with this weapon in two shots or with two shots is to get them into a position where you don't knock them back with the first shot which is from above as I just did or from a, uh, a position where you can blast them into a corner or shoot them into a corner to be more exact or just a wall so you can you know, stay within that range. But that is purely situational. The knockback is always going to be there. And you can disorientate people so brilliantly with it. Or just push them into a position where they are ineffective. For example, blow them off a cliff due to the fact that death kind of makes you ineffective. Or, for example, blow them behind a... Um, or shoot them behind a wall or behind a ledge, buying your team some time to move out if they are pinned down. Or if there's a heavy on the point, blow them off and you buy yourself some time. Because killing a heavy, for example, as a scout, especially with this weapon, is still very tricky. Especially when there are other people around. But talking about vertical distance, that's a very good example right here. You can just jump onto positions where you otherwise had to go around for or, you know, take different places. This gives you more opportunities to do flanks and, you know, really give yourself the opportunity of or the element of surprise. This, however, is somewhat countered for the fact that you do reduce your firepower with the force of nature. Because the moment you start flanking, everybody starts to fly around. And disorientating the enemy team is, of course, awesome. But having a proper chance of killing them is probably better for, you know, purposes of being reliable. But it kind of depends on what you prefer. I like to just disorientate people with this gun. My intention is not necessarily even to kill them. So I'll leave you guys with this. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this weapon, if not loadout. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.